I'm Jesse Le Pen, Chargé d'Affaires for the U.S. Mission in South Africa and the host of our video series, Meet the Alumnus. Today, I'm at the iconic Market Theatre in Joburg, and I'm going to chat with the Market CEO, Ismail Mohammed, also an alumni of the U.S. government's International Visitor Leadership Program, or the IVLP. Come on, let's go see him. Ismail, um, tell me, uh, tell me how you got interested in theatre, first of all. I grew up in Indonesia, on the south of Johannesburg, in what is a very conservative Indian community with no music, theatre or dance education as part of the curriculum. But I grew up at a very interesting time. I was in matric in 1976, mm -hmm. when television was being introduced in South Africa, when Soweto was going up in flames, uh, when theatre was still segregated. Uh, at that particular time. The desegregation of theatre only happened in 1978, two years after the market theatre opened. But through informal programming within the community, particularly youth programming, we engaged with poetry, music, theatre and dance. I was teaching in the 80s during the years of the education boycotts when the entire educational system had almost come to stand still. Children were outside on the streets and as teachers we felt that we needed to engage them meaningfully. I ended up taking students to the National Arts Festival in Grahamstown and of course when the market theatre opened in 76, uh, that was a wonderful way for me to bring young people to the theatre, to have post-performance discussions and to just understand that learning went beyond a classroom environment uh, and that theatre held an enormous power to bring young people together. Uh, the fact that we lived in separate communities, but when we walked into this particular space, uh, we engaged with people of colour. We could sit right next to them and we could laugh and cry at the same thing. And there was an enormous amount of magic to that. Uh, that for me, that was where the new country was going to be born, in the darkness of this particular auditorium, when actors were on stage. Uh, and that for me was the entry point into the arts. One of the benefits of the Ivy program uh, was being able to go to an institution like La Mama mm -hmm. and to see a theater that was deeply rooted in, in, in New York that had a social consciousness but also had a simplicity about it, mm -hmm. uh, one that we could, re we could emulate in our country, uh, particularly in communities where we needed to start off theaters. In 1995, the U.S. Mission in South Africa selected you to participate in the International Visitor Leadership Program, the IVLP. What was that like? It was mind-blowing in the sense that for the first time uh, I really was engaged or engaging with the world that I had read about, a world that we talked about at school, a world whose politics we even questioned sometimes. Uh, but I think the key factor for me around that particular exchange program was the value of person-to-person -person engagement mm -hmm. that I had. And I think the power of any kind of cultural exchange or academic exchange is the people-to-people -people relationship that you build. What would be your advice to the next and the next generation of exchange visitors, whether on the IVLP or the other U.S. government-sponsored programs? The advice that I would give to anyone going in an exchange program is do some research about the country you're visiting, do some research about the organizations you would like to see, uh, but have a completely open mind uh, about what you're going to experience. Understand the things that you want to challenge and, and be courageous enough to have those conversations because there are going to be people on the other side who will want to engage with you, who may agree with you on some things but disagree with you, with you on other aspects, but keep a completely open mind. As the CEO of the Market Theatre now, 
how do you how do you think about the future of this institution, the the theater of struggle, which has been so important as a as a locus of desegregation and also a driver of discussion? A specific focus is around young people because we believe that if we can reach out to young people, we will reach out to their parents. If we reach out to the parents, we will reach out to an entire community, and that's the way we we're, we're moving forward. Um, we we we've engaged a artistic. Uh, residency group, uh, one that is incredibly socially engaged, has done an enormous amount of work in the Hillbrow area, knows it very, very intimately, and is socially conscious. And the other is an arts-driven group that has really good, strong artistic output. And we feel the merger between the two of them uh, will be the right kind of partnership that we need to drive that institution into success. Join us on social media and connect with U.S. Embassy South Africa.